Hey friends, Allison here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new layout to share with you. It's a six by eight layout. It is going inside a page protector and it is also being paired with an insert that measures uh, three and three quarters wide by eight and a quarter inches tall. It is a hybrid layout. So that means I have some physical product that I used to put this layout together as well as digital items from my Cricut. I'm working on the digital items right now. I use the draw function and cut to create this white panel. I used a uh, font, uh, it's like a typewriter font. I gotta double check the actual name of it. Um, I think it's Dear Quinn. I absolutely love it anyways, and use that to write the title, which is Crazy Cat Lady. I added a little heart at the end of the sentence as well, and um, wrote that with black ink. That was attached to this tag shape that I'm going to attach to the top of pattern paper from Coco Vanilla Studio. The collection from Coco Vanilla that I'm using is these days, I do believe. I'm using this really soft green um, leafy pattern from that collection as well as this gorgeous wood grain pattern paper. The pattern paper measures uh, about five by seven inches. It's slightly larger than that. And then all of this is going to be attached to a different pattern paper that I've had in my stash for a while. And that was cut to six by eight inches. I'm gonna have to double check the collection that this came from. Um, I received it in a rack and I'm not entirely sure where it's from, but I will link it in the description box down below and all the other products that I used in this layout. The images, the um, plant images at the top of the left hand page were colored in with Spectrum Noir markers and of course those will be linked down below as well. So originally this white textured cardstock that I'm working on right now, I had cut and planned on just using as the insert for the right hand page. I have two three by four inch photos that are going on it. I'm just attaching them right now with um, ATG adhesive. And then I decided because it was white and such a stark contrast between the colors in the left hand side of this double page layout, I thought that I would trim it down. It originally was three, uh, what did I say? Two, three and three quarters inches wide by eight and a quarter inches tall. I trimmed it down so that it created a very thin white border around my photos. And I'm going to attach that with ATG to another sheet of the wood grain paper also from the These Days collection. So right now that paper is cut to four and a half inches wide by eight and a quarter. And then I realized that was too wide. I kind of thought maybe I would add a scallop border to the left-hand side of those photos just to kind of eat up some of that real estate. I changed my mind and trimmed it down to three and three quarters inches. So it does have a little bit of a gutter on the left-hand side of that margin just for punching holes so that it can go in my album outside of the page protector. This page right now, the left-hand page, will be going inside a six by eight page protector. I pulled out the puffy stickers from this collection as well and added a blue heart to the center potted plant. It coordinated really, really nicely with the color that I used to um, fill in the left-hand plant. Um, the pot at least. Um, that was vintage blue. It is a blue color, but it is very gray and coordinated really nicely. So I could not not use the hearts from the uh, puffy stickers. I'm using my mini stapler to attach a gold um, fabric heart that also came with the collection to the bottom of that tag there. If you can hear noise, Booker's in my lap trying to play. Um, so that explains the change in everything. Um, where was I? Squirrel. So yes, I'm adding some of the puffy stickers to my three by four inch photos now. The puffy sticker that I have in that bottom photo says best ever. And then I'm going to add another blue heart below that. And then I'm going to add a phrase sticker, white phrase sticker from the sticker sheet to the top photo um, 
that says love this and then I think I add a puffy sticker heart to that photo as well and with that this um pretty well marks the end of this process video it took me a while to find the right phrase to use on that top photo I didn't want something too long because I didn't want it to cover too much of my plant um, so I pull one off the sticker sheet and I'm kind of moving it around, auditioning it, and decide that it's too long. So put it back on the sticker sheet and find something a little bit shorter. And it's going to go in the top sort of left hand of that top photo. And then once I have that adhered, um, I go ahead and add the blue puffy heart. There's my shorter phrase. Again, I'm just trying to audition it in places and decide that little space right in the top left corner is perfect. I did think about putting it on its side as well, along one of the outer edges of the photo, but I didn't like that. So back to the top left it goes. And that's it for me, friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I do have close-ups coming up, so feel free to stick around for those. Um, oh, I forgot to mention the theme for this layout um, is XO. So I, it's currently January right now and I'm thinking ahead to February where the next story kit theme is XO love. And I thought this was perfect for my love of plants. I can't get enough of them and that's why I scrapbooked this story. So thanks for joining me today, friends. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please give me a thumbs up and a like. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here and I hope you find inspiration on my channel. I will be back again soon with another digital slash hybrid layout for you. Bye guys.